How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to design your own keycaps slash keyboards using a, a couple online tools that are free. But before I do, as per usual, I got to shout out our Discord server. At the beginning of every video, I like to shout out the server. Link in the description below. If you're into keyboards, uh, computer hardware, stuff like that, I update the server on drop info, group buys, and I do some resale stuff as well. So if you're into that, feel free and join but let's get right to it so there's a couple websites uh all the uh, links for the websites are in the description below as well so if you want to follow along and, and do this with me on a separate monitor or have a, a this video minimized you can go ahead and do that so first website we're going to go and head up is uh keyboardlayouteditor.com this is not what you're going to see uh once you get on the website first thing you're going to see is a numpad and what you're going to do to get a, a keyboard option is you're going to go to preset you can go ahead and pick your uh, full-size board if you're into that but for the sake of simplicity and what I always use is I use uh, 60%, but they do have a lot of different uh, options here. You have the uh, Ergo Docs, you have a 42, and of course you have your uh, ISO uh, option as well. But I use just a default 60% and that's what I'm comfortable with. And that's what I personally think looks the best. Sometimes the TKL is nice as well, but for the video, we're just gonna go ahead and do a 60%. Now that we're here, uh, before we get to it, let's. Uh, I have a concept in mind. I want to do the colorways of the Tokyo Hands logo. So we're going to go ahead and, and pick an image here. So you can pick whatever image you want, right click it, go to copy image address, or you can save the image, whatever is easier for you. And then we're going to go to imagecolorpicker.com right here. Boom. Go ahead and uh, upload or copy that link that you just copied off the image and it's going to bring you up to this so i'm doing this real quick so we don't have to go ahead and go back uh while we're in the middle of designing all this we're going to pick the color right there and it's going to give you this uh html slash hex code we're just going to copy this and i'm going to save it for later in the video this is a really easy logo there's only two different colors in here and white is uh is really easy it's a i already know the code for white so i don't need to copy that so i'm going to take the green there we're going to go back to the keyboard editor and uh pretty much i'm just going to save that for later if you're going to save it for later too just don't copy anything else so you don't lose that code or you're going to have to go back and do that so now that we have that out of the way i just want to do that real quick we can go ahead and i'm going to teach you guys how to pretty much mess with your legends your sub legends your colors and all that so you can go ahead and select keys on the keyboard by clicking them if you hold down shift obviously you can uh, go to the last key select all of them or you can hold down uh, control select multiple without selecting all of them which is a, a very nice thing to do very convenient there so what we're going to do here is i'm going to go ahead and show you guys click all these what i like to do at the very beginning is i like to go to tools here and I like to center all of my legends pretty much. I think it looks very clean that way. Center them all. There we go. If you only want to do uh, your alphas or if you just want to center your mods, then just go ahead and select your mods and you could uh, have them up in the top left, top right. But I like to have them all in the center. Go ahead and select everything again. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to legend size. I want to make my legends a little bit bigger. So I'm going to hit up that legend size button and move them up to a size five there we go this is usually how i like to start my uh my designing process if i'm ever you know designing a keyboard or, or just for fun pretty much if i have a, a colorway in mind because sometimes you can design it and see how it looks uh online and then go buy keycaps that are relatively uh, similar to it that way if you uh buy a uh, you don't have to buy a set of keycaps and find out maybe you didn't like how that looked this is an easier way just to see how uh, keycaps may look roughly relatively before you actually buy a set that is kind of similar to it or if they have an exact set you can pretty much just copy it from uh, the website build it here and see how it might look so now that we have all these here i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to change the legend color so i'm just going to pick these uh let's go tab actually i'm going to pick tab here legend color there we go you can go ahead and change it on the website here or if you have the exact code like i have earlier which i have saved you can uh, pick it or uh, paste your code in there, but you can go ahead, pick whatever colors you want. That is the color of the legend there. Set it back to black. If you want to change the actual key color, you can change the key color as well. Pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna go back to white. This is not 
Uh, the keys aren't actually all white by default. They're like a kind of a, a pale platinum is like the best way I can describe it. Um, but yeah, so if you want to go ahead and make all your keys white, like I'm about to do now, oops, there we go. I'm going to go here and I already know this, but the uh, default code is uh, six F's just to make it white. There we go. So now we have a white keyboard. So it's going to be a black legends on white. So this is usually where you're going to be able to start coloring keys. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to color the keys in bulk. I'm going to hold down control and start selecting all these. I'm not going to select enter for a reason because I don't like having enter uh, be colored sometimes. So now that we're here, we have all of our colors selected. We're going to go to key color and I'm going to paste that code that we had before in here. So key color, paste it. Now that green is all here. There we go. Perfect, same color as the logo. And uh, I'll show you why I like to pick the logo color because uh, it will match the logo later when I do some uh, Photoshop type work with it. So we go here, key color. Now we're gonna wanna change the legend color. Uh, I'm gonna do reverse. So this is going to be, the alphas are going to be pretty much green on white and the mods are going to be white on green so just like i said six f's for white boom and now we're going to go to here select all our alphas and the enter key and we're going to go ahead and copy and paste that code from earlier that green now if you look we have a pretty clean looking keyboard. What is also nice about this keyboard layout editor is you can change the color of the case. And there uh, isn't just color options, there is uh, like texture options. You have you can do carbon fiber if you're into that, wood, leather. That's kind of a kind of a strange thing is leather. I haven't seen a leather case personally. I actually I have, that's not true, but they're not very common. Brushed steel, but none of these really go go well because it, it, they kind of clash with the actual look of the keyboard so i'm just going to go ahead here change it from this like pale platinum to a pure white oops there we go we have our white there and you can also change you know uh, different mounting styles and whatnot but i'm not going to get into that it's kind of complicated so here we have our keyboard white case green mods white enter key and then uh, green on white for the alphas and whatnot. Pretty simple. Now you're gonna wonder, is this it? I want it to look rendered, right? Somewhat rendered without having to download and do the whole blender process. We could do that. So we're gonna go ahead and click download here. We're gonna download the JSON file. So click this, I'm gonna save it here. Keyboard layout, whatever, simple name. And then I'm going to go to a new website. Now I'm gonna go to KLE render. And with that JSON file, I'm going to go ahead and click browse here and I'm going to click, click uh, the file I just downloaded, the JSON file, and we can click render now. So once I click render, it's going to come up with this render and that's pretty much uh, as good as you're going to get for a free render without having to do a lot of downloading or whatnot and uh, actually sitting there waiting for files to render. I think this, this KLE render site is awesome and it, it gives you a pretty accurate look of what your keyboard is gonna look like if you choose to you know go with that colorway. So that's pretty much how you download it and uh, design your own keyboard. And what I do is I usually like to take that logo that I found, I like to put that keyboard on the logo. This is one I made earlier with a green case instead of the white one, obviously you saw the uh, white case here instead, which I'm kind of liking the white one now that I'm seeing it. But here is it, here it is in front of the uh, Tokyo Hands logo, the keyboard with the green case, exact same theme though, same colors and everything, which is nice. So I hope some of you learned something today and uh, go ahead and can have fun now designing your own keycaps slash keyboards. And yeah, pretty simple, nothing, uh, nothing too difficult just for on the base level of just designing how it looks. But there you go. I am going to show you guys how to do a uh, actual render uh, with Blender in another video. That's going to be a bit longer of a video, but uh, there's a lot more that goes into that rather than just doing this. So now that you have it all, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, if you like the content and want to see more of this type of stuff, feel free to hit that subscribe button. That's the best way to support the channel and join our Discord. So 
yeah, that's pretty much all I have time for today. Appreciate you guys. Have a good night.